Right, so I got a message from PGY Tech and I'm like, Phil, are you gonna release the Mantis Pod 2.0 film? And I'm like, ah, do I have to? And they're like, well, it would be nice if you did. I'm like, I don't really want to because I don't like it. They're like, okay, well, constructive criticism is good. I'm like, okay, you, you got me on that one. Why not? I am not paid for this video. This is not a sponsored video. I do get everything from PGY Tech for free. But I just wanted to tell you, and PGY Tech, why I prefer the version one Pro over the version two, and why I think you should get the version one. Unless you wanna save money and get the version two. <laughs> when the version two came, I was really excited, but I took it out of the box and I was like, hmm, listen, listen to this. That's how I feel about the version two. The version one. The version one feels like a premium product, if you know what I mean. It costs $150. The version two costs 90 with the remote control, the wireless magnetic Bluetooth remote control that you can connect to your camera and you don't have to take your hand off all the time to press record or take a photo. You know, that's great. And I'm not gonna sit here and say the Mantis Pod 2 is shit because it's not. It is innovative and it's moved forward, but at the same time, because they had to save $60, I feel they cut corners that I don't like. If I didn't get it for free and I had a choice between them to go out and buy one right now, the best, hands down, the best mini tripod, vlogger's tripod, travel tripod out there on the planet, I would pick up version one pro because it just feels fantastic it's a product that i have full confidence in and that's really important when you have an expensive camera and lens to stick onto your tripod especially if you're doing some crazy crap like what the mantis pod is made for so it's made for basically hanging off things like this and it does that really, really well. This one is magnesium alloy and aluminum alloy. And you know, rubber on the grips. The grips just feel so good. It, it feels like it's never gonna leave your hand unless you open your hand. This one feels like if you had sludge on your hand, it would leave your hand. <laughs> no matter how hard you grip it, you know, it's, it's slippery. The, I didn't do that. But it's a nice product. You know, it, it really is. It, the, the bull head is a quarter 20 that you screw in. You know, that, that, that's fine with me, it's okay. It, it, like I said, it's cutting corners, $60 had to be saved somewhere. The Pro here has a dovetail cold shoe, which has a lock on it so it won't fall out and it has a quarter 20 and a three eighths at the bottom. So you've got a lot of different ways of attaching it. It's got a snap lock system and you know, much like the Arca Swiss plate that comes with the version two, it's really nice and easy to use. The ball head really is. It just feels fantastic on the version one Pro. I, I do enjoy it. Right out of the box, the version one Pro has two things that the Mantis Pod 2 doesn't. Mind you, obviously the version one Pro does not have the remote control. It has something called extended mode and it has in this nice little neat hiding place behind it, smartphone mode. So if we press this button, straighten it out, press this button, straighten it out completely, and we reverse it, and we put on the bull head, lock it in, sometimes it doesn't, but it, it's, it's locked, put it down, and snap, Snap the camera in, wait a sec, wait a sec. Stay with me, stay with me. There, There is a lot of importance in this video. Come on. What, have I unlocked it all the way? No, now I have. Just be safe. You have extended mode. So if you want to have a little bit more reach, you can do that, you know, like really, like a lot of reach. And you can feel confident in doing so because you've got this rubber handle. It is magnesium alloy. It feels very, very solid. That's fantastic. You don't have that with the version two. And uh, even if you did, I don't know how confident I would be with the aluminum alloy, nylon, and carbon fiber that this tripod is made out of. Now, the second thing you have, which is, is pretty cool. Let me just um, 
attach it, is that you have something like, wait for it, let's put it back where it was, a little, little secret attachment for your smartphone. So you can basically lock that in. You don't need, it has a quarter 20 at the bottom, but you don't need to use it. It locks in to the Arc Swiss. And right there, you can twist it around. Look at that, boom. And you know, it comes in handy because a lot of people nowadays are filming with their smartphone. Lock it down and boom, you're, you are on fire. You know, extended mode and the, obviously if you have a longer stick, Alexa, can you turn the strips on? Alexa, turn the strips on. Okay. If you have a longer stick, then it's a lot more stable. If your stick is shorter, so it's, you know, a short one, it's nowhere near as stable. So keep that in mind. So if you have a long stick and you've got a smartphone, your shots are going to be a lot, lot more stable. So yeah, it feels like a much more premium product. I, I feel more confident using the version one pro. And I told them, I said, you guys, if you made a version three, yeah, which I'm sure they will, because it's a fantastic, fantastic system that I've been using ever since I put my Joby Gorilla Pod in the box because it was getting on my nerves. If you mixed, if you made a baby between the version one pro, yeah, and the version two, and all you do is get this Bluetooth thing, stick it on here, then boom, you have won, there should be an award, best ever vlog travel mini tripod in the world. PGY Tech would win it if they did that. That would be the version free premium version. I don't know what they're gonna call it. They might call it the Philips Grana, but it's, it's definitely something that would be cool because I get this and I don't have much confidence. It has a lot of similarities. It has the twistable, you know, cold shoe mount on the side, feel light, and your microphone, which believe it or not, I've never ever used. I just don't use it. I use it basically like this, or I use it as a underslung kind of right there. They call it briefcase handle. So it's right there, you know, just, just feels really nice to use like that. It feels very stable. Um, I also use it in low mode, which is really great. I use it in high mode. I obviously use it in mantis pod mode because that comes in handy. You can stick it on anything outside and it is stable. You put the feet up and it's, it feels really, really great. I use it in high angle mode, in handheld mode, in portrait mode. It does a great job because you can get both of these to flip around sideways. So it is in portrait mode or vertical mode, whatever you guys want to call it. Now, many of you may not know this, but if you do buy the smartphone adapter separately, you can actually hide it in the Mantipod 2. That's pro tip, pro tip for you right there. <laughs> Mantipod 2 weighs about 20 grams less. You're not gonna feel that at all. You're not gonna feel it, but you will feel that. It, it, it. Trust me, if you can spend the extra $60 Go with a version one, unless you really feel you need the Bluetooth controller. I don't know. That's that's my honest opinion. Like I said, I'm not sponsored by them. I do get everything from PGY Tech for free, and I have done for a long time. But I thought we just need this talk, you know, us and PGY Tech. So version three will no doubt be coming out. And I cannot wait for that because it's gonna, it's gonna, mm, mm, everything together. Alexa, turn the strips off. Let's go home. Okay.